Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a 31 year old who steals magic cards from Walmart. And I remember seeing this story a few years ago, I guess in 2016, so about a year ago. And I felt it was very strange that a 31 year old would, the expected value which all magic players are trying to reach, to a positive EV he would steal magic cards from a Walmart. So he's 31 years old and he attempted to steal 27 packs. The very funny part of the story, or I guess none of this is funny, but the interesting part of the story is when he tried to return, I believe 16 of the packs. So he took the packs from Walmart, went to the men's apparel section to quote chains and then opened the packs. And then after opening the packs, he put them in his pocket and tried to leave. The security was called and he gave back 16 packs, but kept 11. This is a very interesting issue in our community, stealing, uh, stealing from big stores. There is the argument that if you steal from your local game store, that's very bad because they don't have as much money. But if you take something from Walmart, it's not as bad. In my opinion, stealing is stealing. When someone steals, they have, um, if they're stealing not based on like, oh, I'm starving, I need some food, I need some diapers, or that one, still bad, but understandable. Here, they're stealing from magic cards. Now, magic cards are very expensive, incredibly addicting, and it's known to be, and it's the type of product, the size of it, the packaging of it, where it would be rather easy to steal. But it's pretty audacious to steal 27 packs. If you imagine 27 packs, if you can take a, a pack, that's a lot of magic cards at one go. Uh, that is a lot of them. And you know, a pocket, I mean a pocket, my pockets can probably fit two to three booster packs. I'm not sure how you get 27 packs out. Maybe it's like a winter coat or who knows. Anyway, he allegedly walked into the store, picked up numerous packages of cards, then allegedly went into the men's apparel section and began to put the plastic wrap sets of cards into his pockets. When he attempted to leave, he was stopped by security, returned 16 packs to Walmart security, but was asked to come to the security office. Just very, 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 like stealing is such ex low expected value and it's just not worth like the punishment and the, just get a job. I mean, one of the crazy parts about F&M grinders and stuff is maybe you have 12 people, everyone puts in $5 for the prize pool, the first place gets $30. If you're there for six hours, you're making $5 an hour and that's in store credit. So why not just have fun? Why not, you know, play and be nice? Why be um, a deuce bag for over $30 of store credit? And I've had situations arise where, you know, people are not behaving properly, especially a pre-release. I think pre-release, uh, just because there's a large amount of people and the probability is that you will have a person who is set on winning and maybe cheating. So stealing, cheating, these are all ethical problems that I see in the community. Uh, cheating is very rampant where I used to play, uh, where a group of eight people, and they were not very nice, they were not friendly, they're not the type of people you wanna hang out with. They would go and quote smoke, although only, I think one of them smoked, the other seven didn't, and then they would come back and they would top eight. It's very rare for out of 120 people for the same group of eight to top eight all the time. And I took one of their spots because my deck, I forget what pre-release it was, but my deck was pretty OP. And I, I finished seventh, so I took one of their spots, which never almost never happened, and they were very, very offended. Uh, so I, I kind of beat them because one of them had six uncolor rares, like, and, or mythics not beatable and not even realistic to be honest but stealing is still a big problem in magic the gathering stealing collections stealing cards at walmart 
you will go to jail for it. There are lots of security cameras. Walmart is a big corporation with many of these policies in place to prevent you. So when he attempted to leave, oh, he ignored the security officer and was found by an officer outside the store soon after. According to the complaint, Stowe unsuccessfully called his girlfriend 12 times. So he was waiting in the car when he went into the store. It's just like, it's a very, I don't want to like judge people. Um, I, you don't know what difficulties they have in their lives. You don't know. Um, you know, if they are a single mom, you don't know if they are uh, making ends meet or if their circumstances have put them to make poor decisions. But in this case, I know this guy does not need to steal magic cards. Out of all the things that you would steal, magic cards will probably be on the lower end of what you need to survive on to, to the point that you don't need to steal it. You can live without magic cards. I just find it fascinating, and this week I'm going to share some stories about people going to jail stealing magic cards. It's magic players are always so EV this, EV that, and I understand like a little kid. I'll talk about little kids a little later. Um, little kids who steal cards because maybe they don't know better, maybe their parents haven't taught them better. But here you have a grown up with a girlfriend who's 31 years old. And he's not stealing one or two packs. Like, imagine stealing 27 packs. Where would you put it all? Like, and how would it not be noticeable? And it's, like, so blanton, right? Like, 27 packs, that's what? 27 times 15, but then there's, like, that's a lot of cards. That's that's a lot of cards. That's, uh, I'm, okay, so I, a good representation is the fat pack bricks. So you know the fat pack brick without the land. Uh, I think that one has like five packs in it. And it would be taking five more than five of those and stuffing it in your pockets. Like you can't even stuff up one of those five uh, bricks, five briefs to pack bricks in your pocket, right? Without it being noticeable. So uh, he attempted to steal 27 packs worth $112. He faces a misdemeanor. And he is has a pre-trial conference. The girlfriend who was waiting in a car was later arrested as well. Her name was not included, so maybe she made something up. You know, I think you have to be uh, safe out there. I did not realize how many sexual predators there are in Magic the Gathering until recently. Um, and I didn't realize that some of them could be judges. Like, that just blew my mind. But also you have people who steal, you have criminals, you have people with felons, um, you have maybe people, again, on the sexual offenders list. These are not, um, these are not like the people you really want to, that will lift you up, right? These are the people who are going to drag you down. And it's unfortunate, I'm not here to like make judgment on it, but stealing magic cards to me is just... If you're a single mom and you don't have a source of income and you really need food or need diapers, I get it. That makes sense. And in fact, I have supported single moms before in that situation from Hurricane Harvey where I just said, you know what, I'm going to take you to Walmart. I'm going to buy everything you need and we're going to set, send you off your way. Make sure that you have rest. Uh, during Hurricane Harvey, actually, my home was not flooded. Uh, it was close, super close to getting flooded, but it wasn't flooded. So after... The flood receded and I knew my home was okay. I opened it up to random strangers. And I can tell you it was a very eye-opening experience because a lot of stuff goes missing. And at the same time, you want to help someone. But sometimes they're in a situation where they make bad decisions. Or in this case, for them, it would be a good decision, right? A stranger has invited you to their home. You're, And it was all... My, I live in a very incredibly posh not neighborhood it would be the way i would put it we i live near a golf course and my neighbors are all like who you would expect to see at a golf course so anyway my point is don't steal magic cards you do not want to do it because you will be caught you will be going to jail and you'll have your picture like this 
out of all the things that you would need to steal, magic cards should not be on the list of priorities. Or it, it it's so low, it's, it's so illogical to take magic cards. But the game is very addicting. I understand that, and it is very expensive. Anyway, leave me a comment below of what you think about this. Bye, guys.